Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. It's finally light enough that I can do the intro to this video. We're in uh, daylight savings time right now, so it's super dark in the morning. So we were up at 4 o'clock this morning and creativity struck and it was dark. I haven't seen the video, so hopefully it's light enough to see what we were doing. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, Pamela, thank you for your contribution uh, to the PayPal Me. I'm humbled by you guys and your contributions. Thank you so much. And Judith, I found your love letter in my backpack. I thought I mailed it a couple weeks ago. I will get that into the mail tomorrow. If you guys have left a comment or a question and I haven't answered it, please comment and question me again. Um, I'm trying to respond to all of them, and I'm sure some of them slip through the cracks. And I have a couple of people out there that are asking for templates, and I will get those in the mail tomorrow. So, oh, very newsy update this morning for our challenge of day 18. Only 12 more to go. Oh, my goodness. See you on the table. So the sun is finally up. Here's our finished challenge for today. The old clock put an image behind it and some stamped numbers and a little doodad on the top that was just laying around painted the base with black gesso. There it is. Good morning. It is really dark o'clock here. We do the uh, time change so it's even darker now than it used to be. So anyway we are going to get this challenge done. I have an old clock which is now ticking. <laughs> must have touched the right button. Do you remember her? She's so gorgeous. We're going to use her today. And I've got some edges from some yummy pages. My stays on ink. Thank you, Lynn. I've got some brand new stays on ink. And then I've got some uh, rubber stamps with numbers on them. So I don't want to take the mechanism off the clock because I've had such problems with taking the mechanism off and then the clock not working. So we're just going to work around the mechanism. Okay, so I want to see where, oh nice and glary. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I want to see approximately where I want that center to be. Oh, and it's going to be such a guess. I want the, I want it all on there and it's not all going to go on there. Well, we'll just take what we can. All right, so I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole approximately in the center because that's just the kind of girl I am. And however, wherever that is, it's going to be absolutely perfect, right? I'm going to grab my hole punch. Excuse me. Cheers. That won't reach, will it? No. All right. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to rip up to that point because I want to glue it back together with as little damage to that photo as possible. That's where that silly glue dot was. You're out of here. Okay, so let's see how we did. Oh, it's really tight under there, isn't it? We can do it. Come on. It's going to have to be a bigger hole. Don't you ruin my picture now. Okay, so this hole needs to be bigger, clearly. And I 
suppose if a little bit of black shows through from underneath that clock, we're just going to have to be okay with that. All right, let's try that with a bigger hole there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That is going to work just fine. Yes, yes, tick, tick, tick. All right, I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the face of that clock and work that picture back down. I'm going to put the Mod Podge on the back of the image rather than on the, the clock. Sorry for the shadows. nice. It's got a little crack right in the center, so I know where the center is. That's helpful for this girl. Just really pull her flat. I'm going to take a grungy old paper towel. Get in there and smooth her out to the best of my ability. And we get to keep as much of the image as we get to keep. going to have a seam. It's okay. Nobody's going to notice that seam because it's going to be such an amazing clock. All right, I'm just going to go around and make sure that I can get out as many bubbles as possible. Working around that ever ticking hand. Ay, ay, ay. She looks good. All right, now I'm going to take those little edges of white paper, take my stamps, I need a one, and a two, Okay, so I've taken my stamps with numbers on them. Here's my number 12 for the top of the clock. Trim that down a little bit. And I need a three and a six and a nine, which I'm sure are exactly the same. Beautiful. Cover up my brand new stays on. And I will glue these on to our brand new amazing clock. Look at that. So fun. 
All right, I have the numbers glued on. And I'm going to go in with my X-Acto in here and uh, recut where that reaching across. Sorry. I'm just going to go around the outer edge because I'm not quite sure where that clock ends. Oh, maybe we'll just do that. We'll just tear it. Even better. Stops ticking, huh? All right. Don't think I want to really do anything else to that. I think we're going to call that good. <laughs> Wash that off real quick with my robe. What a great idea. I was going to say watch. I probably did the whole thing upside down. But no, we got lucky. All right, I'm just going to put that clock back together and put the screws in. And <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's our challenge for today. And I'm just going to stick that number tightly on the top. <laughs> That's a great challenge for today. Hope you have something to play with. We're calling that pretty perfect. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Time is ticking away.